Pillow is touting another Griftathon, which means it's time for another episode of Pillow Talk. God gave me this platform. I already know I'm going to win. China did our vote. Biden and Harris would say, hey, we're here to protect the country and resign. Mike Lindell's a conspiracy. But you haven't. Just forget about the evidence. This was attacked. From the man who brought you such beloved phrases as, well, forget about the evidence and God says I'm going to win comes another hilarious prediction from Mike Lindell. Yeah, this is uh, this will be one of the most important events in history, everybody. I'm telling you, everybody, it's over for them. If you don't, if you watch this after this event, if anyone you talk to say, you can say anything to them. If they say, oh, no, those machines are great or this conspiracy theory, eh, you didn't watch the summit. <laughs> Nobody can play plausible deniability. So, so, but let, let me play. OK, so, you know, this time it's going to happen, OK? Uh, th this time, you know, we're going to show you, we're going to show you the evidence and it's so great. And anybody who's watching that is going to go, wow, that's really stupid, Mike. You're crazy. Eh. You didn't watch it. They didn't watch it, Steve. Cause you know what? Because it's so, it's so mind blowing. My brains are all over the place. That's the floor. They're probably on the ceiling somewhere. I don't know. It's that big. It's that big. Okay. And it's going to be the biggest thing you've ever seen. Everybody. It's so over for them and the machines, the Iranians, and the Pomeranians. We're going to get them this time. This is the 27th time he's made these predictions. Uh, and, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm, uh, like, undercounting. <laughs> Look, everybody knows that it's crap. Everyone knows it's crap. Except for, of course, the cultists. And I'm going to explain why. Now, before I do that, speaking of the cult, here's uh, Trump on True Social posting uh, this. Make sure to watch the Moment of Truth Summit this Saturday, starting at 9 a.m., hosted by Mike Lindell. Watch the movie premiere. Can't even spell premiere right. And the selection code uh, of the selection code to hear experts and patriots from all 50 states showing how the 2020 election was rigged and stolen and how to stop it. Yeah. Uh, look, I would say stop it. But, you know, he's not going to listen to me. Uh, but, all right. Look, here's the thing. This is crap. It, it's all crap. And it's, unfortunately, for the people who still believe in Mike Pillow. And there are, unfortunately, people who do. Because, again, half of all Republicans believe that the election was stolen from Donald Trump by Joe Biden. So these people exist, and there are millions of them who do believe in this. OK, and so I've been racking my brain. I've been trying to figure out why, even after all the failed predictions, all the failed predictions, you still have people that believe this and that tune into these things. And worst of all, keep giving these people money. And then I came across a thread by a psychotherapist by the name of Nick Carmody. Now, he said some very interesting things about why. Mike Pillow continues to pop up every few months, make a stupid prediction, a bunch of people believe it, and then it doesn't come true, and yet he comes back again, and the same people are like, this time, this time, it's for real this time. Now, in the Twitter thread, he wrote that Lindell's tactics are actually similar to doomsday rapture cult leaders who keep promising the next prophesized date will be the real thing. It's going to really happen this time, okay? I mean, we saw it with, again, a lot of these different cults, the Heaven's Gate, the Jim Jones. Um, hopefully there's no Kool-Aid involved this time. But, all right, now, I, again, speaking of cults, I've never been in a cult. I, I'm not interested in being in a cult. So, for me, I see this, and I think a lot of you as well see this and say, no, this is dumb, he's wrong. How can you listen to people and continue to listen to people who are constantly wrong about everything? Again, objective reality here. But Carmody makes the point that what happens in these people's brains is that it's a lot like a gambling habit. 
in fact look uh you have a, an addict that will keep losing and losing but it's the anticipation that there is a possible win in the future that keeps these people hooked and gambling again i've never been a gambler i spent 20 bucks at a casino once and i was like this is bullshit I, I could have actually bought something useful. I could have bought a snack. I could have bought a drink or something, you know, like some mozzarella sticks or, a, you know, played a video game in the arcade. I could have done all that with that 20 bucks. This, this is, this is garbage. This sucks. I'm never gambling again. It's stupid. Now, in that same way, uh, for gamblers, it, it's a matter of, no, 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 you don't understand. If I just, if I just bet one more time, okay, if I just put just another 20 bucks into that machine, it's going to it's gonna come out and I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I, or I could win. It, it's 50-50, win or lose. Now, in that same way, Karamoti believes that people who are more susceptible to confirmation bias, tribalism, and radicalization, that anticipation and the possibility of winning which is a dopamine reward in the brain is enough to keep them coming back to these conspiracies he explains when lindell moves the goalposts he not only creates pathologically unrealistic expectations but he's stimulating people's reward centers in their brain in a way that creates an addiction like response that keeps them coming back for more delusional information and now he also explains that it has to keep getting crazier and crazier, which we've seen, okay, to get the same response. Uh, he says that if somebody watched and listened to Fox News for years and decades and had memorized the same talking points, they would eventually be able to anticipate future narratives 100% of the time. That actually lowers the dopamine reward because you already know it's coming. Oh, yeah, I already know this. So no, I'm not really all that interested. They, he says that this would produce a limited dopamine experience, even though the biases are completely confirmed. However, when right-wing news consumers then turn on OAN, Newsmax, Alex Jones, or in this case, Mike Pillow, and they hear new fantastical details that are added to the mainstream right-wing narrative, these people's anticipation to reward ratio is now disrupted. This disruption actually causes dopamine spikes which are optimized when people are not able to correctly predict or anticipate half of what they're being told. Oh, it could be. Oh, it could be this. Oh, it could be the FBI. Uh, you know, it, it, it wasn't Trump supporters. No, it could be the FBI. Or it could have been Antifa. Uh, it could have been this. It could have been that. Maybe I'm right. Oh, and if I'm right, that's going to feel so good. A again, the results, uh, this results in people perpetually seeking out more delusional, fantastical, and conspiratorial information because eventually anything remotely factual has already been heard and therefore is anticipated. So in reality, a lot of these people apparently are like uh, conspiracy theorists. You know, these conspiracy theorists are like addicts that are chasing the dragon perpetually. Now, of course, that's a very, very, very simple uh, way to put it, okay? Uh, human beings are very, very complicated, and I'm not pretending to be a brain surgeon or anything like that, or a, or, or a psychotherapist. There is a lot involved here, but the overall idea of the right wing having walled itself off from reality and chasing crazier and crazier conspiracy theories in order to fit their own worldview, do confirmation bias, and because, of course, it makes them feel good to own the libs. Um, and, of course, also is part of being uh, in that tribe. All that seems to track. All that seems to track. And so it's also why it seems like facts don't matter. Because to them, it doesn't. They don't. They're addicted to this disinformation. They're addicted to the fake news. And by the way... Um, Again, confirmation bias, and hey, they keep coming back because this maybe this time we got him, and maybe this time we can get Donald Trump back as president. Now, as for Mike Pillow, again, addiction, right? Mike Pillow is a former crack addict, and so his addiction 
went from crack to Jesus and now to right-wing politics and specifically proving that the election in 2020 was stolen by the nefarious machines. In essence, this guy looks to be both dealing and getting high in his own supply of disinformation. Not a good place for you to be. And it almost, almost makes you feel a little bit sorry for Mike. 